for years on a pew in the old Bowery Mission in New York City, now torn down, was a brass plaque which read, Fanny Crosby occupied this seat on her many visits to this mission for over a period of fifty years. It was while sitting here that she received the inspiration for the great gospel song, Rescue the Perishing. This is how Fanny told the story of its writing. It was written in the year of 1869, when I was forty-nine years old. Many of my hymns were written after experiences in New York mission work. This one was thus written. I was addressing a large company of working women, or working men, one hot summer evening, when the thought kept forcing itself into my mind that some mother's boy must be rescued that night, or not at all. So I made a pressing plea that if there was a boy present who had wandered from his mother's home and teaching, would he come to me at the close of the service? A young man of eighteen came forward and said, Did you mean me? I promised my mother to meet her in heaven, but as I am now living, that will be impossible. We prayed for him, and finally he arose with a new light in his eyes, and exclaimed in triumph, Now I can meet my mother in heaven, for I have found God. A few days before, Mr. Doan had sent me the subject, Rescue the Perishing, Care for the Dying. I could think of nothing else that night. When I arrived home, when I, arrived home I went to work on the hymn at once, and before I retired it was ready for the melody. The next day my song was written out and forwarded to Mr. Doan, who wrote the beautiful and touching music as it now stands to my hymn. This blessed song so wonderfully shows how God blends experience and even suggestions from others, and in His timing makes all things work together for good. <laughs> uh. Alfred B. Smith. The reason why I get a little choked up there is because it's talking about a mother and a son. And my dear mother prayed for me for many years. And I like to think of what I'm doing on the internet with the songs and the reading of scripture. It's an answer to my mom's prayers. And my mom's favorite verse as always, since the passing of my father in 1974, Romans 8.28, All things work together for good to them that love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Snatch them from pity, snatch them in pity from sin and the grave. Weep o'er the erring one, lift up the fallen. Tell them of Jesus the mighty to save. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus will save. Though they are slighting him, still he is waiting, waiting the penitent child to receive. Plead with them earnestly, plead with them gently. He will forgive them if they only believe. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus will save. 
Down in the human heart, crushed by the tempter, feelings lie buried that grace can restore. Touched by a loving heart, wakened by kindness, chords that are broken will vibrate once more. Rescue the perishing, duty demands it, strength for your labors the Lord will provide. Back to the narrow way, patiently win them. Tell the poor wanderer a Savior has died. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful. Jesus will say